Hello and welcome back. So in this one, we are going to uh, start creating the sign in screen. So uh, let me just pull that up. All right. So there we go. This is the screen we're going to start with. Okay. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this up and then I'm going to put it on my second screen to be able to reference it. All right. So, uh, let's go to our auth. Now we need auth.py and auth.kv. Uh, All right, so first things first, we're going to remove this label because we don't really need it. Now I'm going to bring this back again just to uh, explain what's gonna happen here. So, uh, just gonna do that. All right, so looking at this, uh, how I usually create screens based on design is I first try to break it down as much as possible. So looking at this, we have uh, just our box, which is, you know, the, the root box that we have. And in this, we have uh, two boxes, this one, right, and that one. So with that already, we know this box layer's orientation is horizontal, not vertical. So we have a, a horizontally laid out box layout with two boxes, one for the info here and the other one which carries our inputs. All right, so let's go ahead and add those two boxes. So first I'm going to remove this orientation because by default every box layout has a horizontal orientation so we don't need to add it. All right. So with that, uh, let's go ahead and add our box layouts. So just one, and I'm going to duplicate this. So now we have those two box layouts. All right. Now to demonstrate, I'm actually going to uh, paint this. So what I'm going to do is if you go to your widgets, you have this box.py. So this is a utility box layout that allows you to set the background for the box layout. All right, so we have this B color, and this just paints the canvas with that big, that uh, color that you set here. All right, so we're going to import this box layout. So we're going to import it in our main window. So go to app main.kv and uh, let's import that box layout. So import back box, that's what it's called, and we're importing this from widgets dot box dot back box. All right, so I'm importing it here so that I'll be able to use it on all my other screens, not just my auth screen. All right, so I'm going to put that here and uh, remove main.py. All right, so here now, instead of uh, our normal box layout, I'm just gonna use a back box, all right? And uh, I'm going to give it a color and I'm going to say app.secondary. Uh, oh, it's actually color. Uh, instead of primary BG, this is going to be secondary BG. All right, for that uh, grayish color. All right, and then uh, just like that. Now, if we run our app, we should see. Uh, I'm just gonna drag it in. We now have uh, that division for this. So this gray part is going to be this, and the white part is going to be that. All right. So the Basically, the layout is set now. Let's go ahead and populate this with uh, the data that we have. All right, so in this back box here, uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, since I've, I'm done demonstrating, I'm just going to put it back to the normal box layout. I'm going to remove this, and I'm actually going to uh, add, ooh, what is this, canvas.before, right? and uh, the color for this so what i'm actually doing right now is i'm going to add that background image so the color for that background image is going to be pure white all right this is so that it's full fully opaque uh, not modified at all so the position for this rectangle is going to be self.pose so basically i'm going to create a rectangle with uh, a white background and this rectangle's position is going to be whatever the box layout's position is all right and uh, the size is going to be whatever the size of this box layout is so which uh basically would make it 
so that this box layout has a white background. Now, every rectangle has a source property, and this source property is going to take uh, an image. So by default, uh, the source is uh, just empty, which means uh, this rectangle wouldn't have a background image. So really what's happening is this source is actually the source for the texture for that rectangle so by default it's empty so you don't have anything so if i add a source in this case the source is going to be our background image here then it's going to take all the pixels in that image and make that rectangle have a texture of those pixels in other words this rectangle is just going to have uh, that image as a background all right, so if we run this, you will see that we have uh, that image as a background right there. Okay, so just going to close that out. Now, now that that is done, what we're going to do now is we are going to add the logo and this uh, information right there. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. So... We have an orientation of vertical. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add some spacing, right? And I'm going to add a uh, 24, right? And while we're at it, we're also going to add some padding, and I'm going to add 24 padding as well. So padding uh, left, top, right, and bottom is going to be 24. Okay. Now let's add that icon so this one is going to be easy just going to be actually i'm going to add an anchor layout so that uh, it appears at the center of everything okay mm, actually i'm going to make it appear at the center on, on horizontally and at the bottom vertically so i'm going to do anchor y and i'm just going to do bottom like that all right and uh, in here should i add an image mm. yeah let's let's uh try an image all right and this image is going to have a source and the source for this image is going to be the icon uh, light for our light theme all right so we're just gonna add it in there all right and uh doo -doo 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 -doo. We're done with that so now let's add a box layout and this box layout is going to be the one that contains our text so orientation is vertical and the spacing is 24 all right now let's add our text so if you go to labels dot widgets labels dot pi you have this uh, text class that just has uh, some defaults for our labels basically so what we're going to do again go to main.kv and uh, let's import that text class so import text from widgets dot labels dot text right let's go back to auth and let's add that text so text ooh just text and the text for this text is going to be pos system and the font name is going to be what is this is going to be remember we set our fonts in our app class so it's going to be app dot fonts dot heading right for roboto bold and then the font size is going to be app dot fonts dot size dot h1 okay all right now let's add a label all right the text for this label is going to be an all in one in one uh, simple get feature rich solution Jesus. get feature rich solution for your business okay 
just like that all right now let's size this label so that uh, it grows vertically all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do text size and uh, actually let me do this let me add a box layout here all right and then let's put this label inside this box there so the text size is going to be uh, the width of it is going to be self dot parent dot width so the width of this labels text size is going to be whatever the width of this box layout is all right and the height is going to be none because we want it to grow and then the size is just going to be self dot texture size all right now we forgot one important thing for all of these which is the color so the color is going to be app dot colors ooh, app dot color primary underscore text and it's going to be same for this one and the font uh, name for this is not going to be heading it's going to be sub heading all right and with that uh, let's run this and see what we get all right now I'm gonna pull this up so you'll see it doesn't look good at all all right let's fix that so first let's close that out and the first thing we want to do is edge align and we want to align this to the center right and do the same thing for you Alright, and then I'm going to V align this. Uh, actually, uh, let me pull this up a bit. Let's see. Alright, uh, I'm going to do something here. I'm going to size hint Y this. Uh, actually, I'm going to do something like 0.3. Alright, and then uh, I'm going to V align this to the top. All right, now let's see how it looks now before we increase the font size. All right, so right now, this is how it's looking. So now I'm going to increase the font size. I'm also going to push this to the top a bit. All right. Okay, so do, 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 do. I'm going to remove this. I'm going to add uh, 42 and i'm going to change this to something like 24. all right and v align to the top v align to the bottom all right uh, let's see what effect that has all right starting to look better now and only in one solution for your business i love it all right, so this stretch is, okay, cool. I'm just gonna close that out. And now, um, what I'm going to do now is, uh, I'm just going to limit the space for all of the things that we have here. So uh, the root, which is this, right? I'm just gonna do, Let's put this in an anchor layout like that right, and put the whole box inside that anchor layout and then so with that done already everything is centered so I'm just gonna size hint X and I'm gonna do point eight size in Y I'm gonna do 0.6 all right now this is going to uh, take away most of the space a size in X that size in Y that all right uh, this is what we have by the way right and it looks like uh, there's a cutoff because of this okay let's fix that really really quickly uh, let's see what we have here. Size in X is 0.8, size in Y. Oh, this is the logo. All right. Uh, what I what I'm looking at right now is uh, 
I think we have this in the wrong uh, the anchor layout is in the wrong item because I want it to also cover this thing all right so I'm just gonna put it push it up a bit and then we want to take this box layout put it back there and then take everything here put it inside that anchor layout like that all right and then finally create a box layout here right and then take everything push it inside that box layout orientation is vertical and then what we want to do now is size this correctly so uh, this box layout I want is size hint y to be 0.7 alright and its size hint x to be 0.8 alright let's see what we get alright that's as far as we are going to get as far as this is concerned all right so the left part here is done and we are going to stop this one here all right to cater for questions so if you have any questions regarding this part of the tutorial let me know in the comment section otherwise as always uh, thanks for subscribing if you haven't subscribed already please do and if you have subscribed well I will see you in the next one that's it